Hi there, and here's a tutorial for Motion 5 on how we can create some animated um, text type sequence uh, introduction. So we're going to be creating something that looks uh, a little bit like this. So what we'll do is go ahead and start up a new Motion project. So file a new uh, Motion project, broadcast HD 180, 29.97 frames per second or 30, 30 FPS. Duration 390 frames should be plenty, so we'll go to open and fit for our stage. First thing we're going to want to do is add in a rectangle. So we'll draw it in and let's get a nice color for it. So we'll go to our inspector and we'll change it to white for now. Okay. And we'll change our group. To BG for background. Now I'll create a new group which we will call text. Inside this group let's add our first text. So we'll put the word this and our style will make it so this green color and we'll increase the size doesn't really matter if this is centered on our stage or not because we're going to be adding a camera later. So we'll just start off with that. So this, the word this, and I want to animate this onto the screen. So we'll go to properties, uh, sorry, um, text and layout. And to our end, we'll scrub that over to the left. Make sure we're on frame one, we add a new keyframe go forward five frames and we'll bring the end in there so now over a period of five frames I would this will appear pretty neat huh? and then our next word is going to be is so what we're going to want to do there is we're going to want to change uh, from this to is so I'm going to leave the word this is uh, this up on the screen for a few seconds. So let's say we'll go forward to frame number 10. Again, we'll go to our layout. We'll add keyframe here. Go forward five frames again. And we'll bring this in until the eye has disappeared. Until the H has disappeared and just before we start on the eye. So now we've got the word this and then it fades to the word is and I want to change the color so from here we'll go to our style we add a keyframe for the color and by the end here I want the keyframe um, the color to have changed say to blue Let's see how that looks. There. So we've got the word this is. Next thing I'm going to want to do is add a camera to our scene. So we'll click on camera, switch to 3D. And then our background here, we want to make sure this stays 2D. So this little icon here where we have uh, three layers, we want to click on that so it changes back to 2D. So our background layer will remain in 2D, but our foreground will remain in 3D. So when we look at this here, we can spin around. Our background remains white, but our text is in 3D. So I want to center on the word this, and we're going to zoom in on it. And there we have it. So this will be our first, this is. As we come to the word is, I want the camera to also center on the word is. So we're going to move the camera. So we select our camera. We add a keyframe for the position. Come over to is. And we will relocate the camera. And zoom in on it. 
let's see how that looks. There. So this is. Uh, next, I want the word A to come onto the screen. So we'll go back to our front view. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the text group. And we'll add in a text. And this will be the letter A. Um, hold on. Let's zoom out a little bit. I think I'm in my this. So I want... I want to select that. Go back to our text there and A. There we go. Okay, uh, let's change the color to red. And make our text size bigger. Then we'll reposition it on the screen. I want to make it a little bigger than the word is. So let's go like that. There. Okay, so if we go back to our active camera, I want to make sure that we can't see the A on the screen. So this is... And then after we see the word is, probably go forward to about frame... Twenty. Let's see. This is say frame thirty five. We will add a position for our A, and we'll go forward to frame forty. And I want our A to have come onto the screen. So let's go back to our front view. So by frame 40, the A will be here, just in front of our is. I'll go back to our active camera. This is A. Um, just bring that back a little bit. And you want it to come on a little bit sooner. Make it a little bit more snappy. Okay. So during this A coming on, I want to pan out a little bit. So we'll go to our camera again. We'll add the position. We'll go over to where our A is on the screen. Finished. And we will pan the camera over a little bit. Like that. And as soon as the A hits the A, um, is, I want the is to fly off the screen. So we'll choose our this again. And we add a keyframe for the position. And we'll go forward about four frames. And we want our position to be off of the screen. So it flies off the screen as the A hits it. So I think that's a pretty neat effect. This is A. And then I want to center up the camera again. So we choose our camera. Add a position. Center the A on the screen. And finally, I want the word tutorial to appear. So we'll go back to our front view. We'll get our text again. And type in the word. Uh, again, our text group. tutorial I want this to be in green we'll change our rotation so it's 
approximately parallel with our A. And we'll make our text size a little bit bigger. And there we go. So we'll go back to our active camera. And now the word tutorial I want to write up on the screen. So we go to our layout. Same as what we did at the beginning, we'll drag our end to there. Keyframe. Forward five frames and another keyframe. And there we go. This is a tutorial. And there we go. That's basically how you create this type of effect. You can go on and on, um, you know, just limited by your imagination, really. For example, you could spin the A off here and spin the tutorial back around. Um, there's all sorts of things that you can do to animate this, but this just gives you the basic idea. You might want to also maybe um, drag in some effect to your background. So you could go to, um, you could go over to our um, filters. Um, sorry, uh, library, and you could get a filter for the background. You could find the vignette filter, maybe. Um, if we go to all, come down here to vignette, and you could drag the vignette filter onto the background here, play around with the parameters of that in your inspector. There we go, so that would give you a slight vignette effect to your background. And that vignette will remain in the correct position as we've got a two dimensional view there. So see the vignette on the edges. So there's lots of different things you could do with this. You could, you could add in animated backgrounds. You could use a video as a background, a static image, change the color of the background, um, change the color of the text, customize it however you like. Um, this just gives you a starting point as to how you can set up and arrange the groups and uh, particularly how you can keep the background in 2D but have everything else in 3D so your background will always remain the same. So I hope this was of some use to you. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on the blog. The address is up on the screen and can be found below this video. Um, so we've got lots more tutorials for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro to come and project files you can download and customize for your own use. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.